Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Plasma1945 with a very asked for video and that is using the sun polarizing effect and filter on the VR helmet users, not just on 2D users. For the link to the video for 2D users that I made that works really well using Reshade so you can see your HUD in the sun, the link is in the description and will pop up in the corner of this video. But for users of OpenXR, and if you get this loading screen with a blue splash and the sound during your DCS startup, that means you are an OpenXR user. This tutorial is for you. One of the key things in this video is going to be a preset that I created by finding the location of the preset settings for OpenXR. So you don't need to tweak around with the settings within OpenXR toolkit and you can just load my preset and turn on the post processing, which will apply filtering effects that you're seeing on the screen. Unfortunately for this video, for whatever silly reason, I didn't capture the actual Jahimix helmet queuing system. So I put some text on the screen to give you a better idea of how it looks when you're looking towards the sun and how the brightness gets cut. Now there is a set of filters within the OpenXR toolkit, a free program, the instructions for the download and setup of which will show up at about the 430 mark in this video but I've added additional settings by adjusting the brightness, the shadows and the contrast so that when you apply the filters, it'll actually make your HUD visible, but also make your instruments in your cockpit visible as well. Because if you use the default sunglasses filter that comes with the OpenXR toolkit, it may make the rest of your plane very dark. So here's how the VR picture should look when you have your Reverb G2 helmet on or your Pimax Crystal might be a bit more colorful, of course, but when you want to apply additional effects, you turn on post-processing using the OpenXR toolkit, and then you can apply the sunglasses filter, which will add a little bit of brightness being cut off so that you can actually see what's happening around you. The other important thing is that you can tweak the saturation, the color, and other features. Something that has been pointed out to me by Resin from our Red Star Squadron, but I never had to play with it until I tried to use the Pimax Crystal, which must have the OpenXR toolkit for foveated rendering. So many of you actually may have this application already installed. But in the post-processing menu within the appearance tab of the app, you can use the control and the keys which are gonna show up on the bottom to adjust the brightness, the shadows and other effects. For the other features within the OpenXR toolkit, I would say don't mess with them because they can give you some detrimental experiences. And there's other videos about these settings, so I say check out other YouTubers for those videos, but this is all about getting that sun glare filter away. Now, there's additional settings that you can do within the system tab and you can boost individual channels. So red, green, and blue. I always boost green just a little bit because most of the helmets will have a green color to the numbers. So it'll make it that much more easier to see. So as promised, let's talk briefly about the OpenXR Toolkit application. And it is a free app that you will be able to download from GitHub. The link to that, of course, is in the description of this video. So you'll go there and you'll download OpenXR Toolkit. You may already have it installed. Just hit the Windows key and type in OpenXR Toolkit and see if we, it's already on your computer. Once you download this application and you run it, it will show DCS if it's already configured and it'll show you some presets for your open and on-screen menu hotkeys. By default, it's F1, F2, F3. I changed that to WASD because it's a lot easier and I'm more familiar with moving around with those instead of Control F1, F2, F3, F4. But if you do map Control S, it'll shut off the sound in your airplane. So make sure you hit that uh, once and then hit it again to make sure your sound gets turned on. Once you've got it pre-configured, you would start up your DCS and go and make the changes. But what I've done is for my Reverb G2, I exported the settings out of my system's registry into a registry file. Now the registry files can have settings for your windows that you can save in and reinstall. So that's what I did here. It only contains the presets for the brightness, the shadows and so forth for OpenXR Toolkit. When you run it, you will get a prompt saying that, you know, installing a registry file can be risky, but uh, as long as you download it from the link in this video only, 
and you can always right click and go edit and see if there's anything else mentioned other than OpenXR inside of it, you are safe to use. And I've tried it on my other computer, so I took the VR settings, brought them over to the other computer, ran them, and they appeared in the OpenXR there, which means that once you've got OpenXR Toolkit installed, you double click on the registry file, let it load into your system, then restart DCS, restart your VR, and the go into appearance and post processing in the OpenXR Toolkit. Again, you can only see OpenXR Toolkit in your VR helmet. Keep that in mind. So this is actually captured from my VR helmet. But yeah, you'll go in there, go into post processing, turn your sunglasses on to the light settings, and this contrast, brightness, exposure will all be preset. If you don't want to use the registry file, just look at the numbers that I've put down here and adjust yours to match. You can use the preset arrow keys, control F1, F2, F3, F4 to change the settings and move up and down in the menu. Or like I did in the previous screen, you'll see there, I remapped it to WASD just because it's a little bit more natural, especially when you're wearing a VR helmet, trying to find on the keyboard the control key and then F1, F2, F3, F4 is a bit of a pain in the you know what. So hopefully this video is helpful for VR users who use OpenXR as the engine for DCS World, which should be almost everybody. Uh, let me know if you've tried my preset and if it works out for you. And it's all about cutting that extra glare and having that filter because in a lot of airplanes, well, that filter is just not available. Or if it's available in 2D, it will only show up in VR as a square box. On that note, I'll leave the settings up on the screen here for you guys to check out. And Plasma1945 is out of here. Fly safe. And as always, comment, like, share, and subscribe.